Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. All right, so uh, last video we saw was at three. This one is going to go up at seven on Monday. Uh, <laughs> uh, it ended up taking six loads altogether. We're going to walk up there and I'm going to show you. But uh, that turn <laughs> that was uh, a little more intense, I guess. Need a little TLC. But uh, it's going to be okay now. We've still got work to do on this part over here as well. But uh, right now, I wanted to uh, hit that spot up there because it's just it's one, of those, one of those spots. But like even if you look right here through this part right here, People have a tendency, myself included, I'm not not discluding myself, have a tendency to come down this side. So this side is definitely going to need uh, more gravel down through here. And this will be easier because, you know, it's not going to sink in as much. We can put the gravel in through here. And uh, like eight buckets through here would end up being quite a bit of stone. So probably... If I had to look at a guess, uh, from here down to the there, maybe two loads of uh, stone through this part right here. That would be my guess. Uh, up here also needs more. We'll take a look at this here. We'll get up here in a second. I'll just walk up here and look at this. You see the stone through here has seemed to held up pretty good, settled in really well. Uh, we had added more stone on this side as well. You have this one spot. Uh, let's see, it's up here. Let's take a look at that. <clears throat> you got this one spot here, right here, that uh, the divot was pretty, pretty deep. So a couple more buckets, maybe three, four buckets uh, over the top of this just to help pack it in. I think that would be enough here. So, you know, just, uh, just you know, different spots need to be taken care of. And so, you know, today, like I said, ended up being just a absolutely beautiful day. And I started out cleaning in the camper I kind of told you guys that already. Uh, I finished, I don't know if I told you in the first video or not, but I finished the bedroom and the bathroom. So those are completely done. And uh, <laughs> everything's cleaned up there. And that was something there, I'll tell you what. It was, uh, you know, getting reorganized, throwing crap out that needs to be thrown out, getting other things more organized. And they're, both of those areas are much more opened up now, which is a good thing. So, next task is going to be, and I'm not sure if I'm going to work on it today or not. I might, a little bit. Um, the stove is going to be the next project. Stove's in pretty much need of a good cleaning and overhaul. So, I definitely plan on, you know, hitting that as well. So, just a... <laughs> It's a process. It is a process, but uh, I will get things organized and uh, we will kind of go from there. All right. So, all right, let's walk down here. So this turn was pretty bad. Uh, if you saw it in the first video, you would be able to tell that it, uh, like I said, Dave and myself, you know, when you're coming in here, we're cutting. And so that whole area was uh, pretty rough, but it starts here. And, uh, you know, it could probably, if I wanted to over here, but that's more of the grass part. But this whole area here, we started, you know, getting this uh, down here. It's much wider. 
I could probably get away if I brought another load of stone up, um, hitting there a little bit more, widening it out so it's it's better. But uh, it's pretty good. Uh, I ran over it a couple times with a four wheeler, but uh, yeah, it's a it's a good long stretch. Let's see. We started here, so let's just kind of walk it out. If you can kind of see, I mean, it's the whole turn, and this was six loads. Uh, eight five gallon buckets on each load uh, and so I put it in heavy uh, obviously in through here and you can see the water even now standing over here but uh, yeah so it's uh, from here we got let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right uh, 21 times three you're looking at uh, 63 feet. So, you know, it's a good stretch that had to be addressed. Um, if you guys remember from last year, yes, last year, I was trying to remember when it happened. Uh, last year, this area through here was horrific. I mean, just absolutely horrific to the point where we were coming in, going out into the field and driving around to avoid this area until, uh, you know, I started getting it filled in. Uh, the first thing that I ended up doing down here was uh, I did, I think it was 36 bags of quickcrete, and the ruts through this area were so bad, I just put the whole bags um, right into the ruts, uh, both, you know, both of the ruts. And then I backfilled everything with the gravel, and I mean, I laid the gravel in here heavy, heavy. And that's why you're seeing that it's it held up. I mean, it's held up. We've had a lot of rain, um, you know, just that turn uh, part there. And that might have been like the shoulder. Because if you look at it now, this part of the road here is definitely much wider than that part. So, uh, you know, that's just us cutting that turn sharper. But, uh, you know, now we'll have that more squared away as well. But uh, this area here was the worst uh, as far as like ruts and stuff. And then uh, obviously first coming into the road was really pretty bad as well uh, until we got that fixed. And that's held up great up there. Um, that looks fantastic up there at the top part of the road. So like I said, you know, um, that's one of the reasons why we ended up picking up this extra 25 tons of number two stone because I figured we we're going to have spots that needed to be addressed. And uh, so, you know, my game plan, uh, you know, moving forward here, depending on what the weather's doing and what I can get done and how I feel. Um, I'm tired right now, I'll be honest with you, but I feel really good physically. So, but uh, that was a lot of stone, uh, a lot of stone to move. And, um, but, you know, uh, Steve did give me a hand loading some buckets. And so that was a good thing. And, uh, but, uh, you know, we're just uh, steady, steady, steady. So what I'll do next is my next load of gravel. I'm not going to worry about up in there yet. There's spots farther out that really need uh, a few potholes here and there that need to be filled, which will only take maybe a couple of buckets per pothole. So I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to get loads and take it out and slowly start working my way out and getting other things taken care of. And, uh, you know, we'll see what I can get done. But uh, slow and steady. You know, the biggest thing, folks, I'll be honest with you, is forward progress. Forward progress. What are you doing? What are you doing each day uh, to improve your life, to make your life better? You know, uh, it just, uh, I woke up this morning and I was crazily motivated. And I, you know, I'm like, okay, <laughs> let's go, you know, so... Uh, the one thing I did not do today that I wanted to do was change the oil in the generator, but that can that can be a tomorrow project because I'm pretty much done. Um, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to do maybe a little bit more cleaning in the house, uh, working on that stove and getting that more squared away, and you know, and then uh, taking and it doesn't. The weird part is it doesn't take that long. You know, I took probably. To clean the bedroom and to clean the bathroom probably took me three hours, you know, because you're moving everything, you're, you're sweeping, you're getting everything squared away, you're replacing things and, and putting them in spots that they need to go. 
All right, guys. So anyway, that's all I got for right now. It's been a good day. I'm tired, and uh, I will see you all later. Remember, we truly are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we figure that one out, we truly will be in much, much better shape. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD. Step thing and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to accomplish, whatever you're trying to do in life, you can do it. The only one stopping you from achieving your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. If you stay positive and stay away from the negativity, you're going to be just fine. Stay away from people that tell you what you cannot get accomplished, and you're going to be okay. I hope you all have a great day. And I will talk to you later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.